What is going on everybody? My name is Corsair and if you haven't already seen by the short gun, we are taking out the Scott. This is a new tank. I've actually been grinding it out for the um, past few days. And before we really get into anything special, I'm just going to do a quick rundown. So, at first I thought that that was going to be a um, 30 cal. Not, that's actually the rangefinder. Um, as I saw there, we have a 50 cal up here, uh, pretty good at this low tier. You can use that for anti-aircraft and you can use it for even anti-tank. I've been killed with an M13, um, when I was using a Panzer 4 F2, uh, F, uh, sorry, C, which means that if I come across a Panzer 4 C, I can use this to tear it apart. Now, the howitzers, the thing that people would see as a good thing about the tank, I just don't like it. Because if we look at this, let's do the modifications, you have two different types of shells. You have heat with 89 millimeters of penetration, and it's a shaped charge. And then you have this, which has 10 millimeters of penetration. I call this the Illuminati shell because it has actually 666 grains of explosive in it. And because it just, it doesn't, it, it's not what it seems. Or, or, uh, it doesn't look like, look like what it seems. If you try to shoot it, it'll perform terribly. The only thing you can possibly do with that is maybe kill a gauze because that is zero armor this the su-5-1 is also a potential however i think this is the um, the gauze we're going to come across if we do actually come across this 30s we can take them on basically anything else we're screwed even the t-60 the worst tank in the game we're not going to be able to penetrate anything. T26-4, that's with heat. Although, if we can try to find a Panzer IV C, use heat shells, and get it from center of mass, you can see here, if you get it at center of mass, that's how you're supposed to kill one. It will actually basically just kill everything. If you kill the driver, here... You kill the gunner with heat. You get a direct headshot or under the optics, because optics suck. Kill them right in the neck and get this guy in the legs. So, without further ado, let's just get right into the M8 act. Gonna just get that shell out here so we can load an HE round. Then jump this guepard. Gonna blow it off, blow its butt off. What up, yo? Oh, come on. All right, friendly's got it. It's late to the game. Okay, so that's how you get to A. All right. <laughs> Basically, when you're Using this tank, you're only going to ever use the heat round. I enjoy how you get it stuck, which is good. That means that right out of the box, basically, you're going to have a round that does nothing and a round that penetrates, like most other tanks in the game, i.e. the Sherman. Oh, gosh. T-50. That's one of the tanks that you need to look out for. Um, like, if you see them, run away, because they're going to mess up your day. Come at me, bro. Oh, God. Another bad thing about this tank is that it's slow. The turret traverse is basically non-existent, and that's what got me killed. 
Gosh dang it, we have more commies on this team. This is America. We already have Soviet Russia. That's communist. That's communist enough. Really? Like, Gaijin, we, we get that you're a Russian company, but... You don't need to add more commies into the game than Russia? Or Soviet... Soviet Union? Now, another issue that I'd like to actually touch on with this tank is... Excuse you. Is that... The gun has a very high arc. Just shooting over to there. Like, shooting this BT-5. You need, like, an arc. Now, the other M8 got that guy, but... Oh my god, Mr. M8, you can stop! Alright, let's push up. Oh, light tank over here. Gonna try to beat him in CQC. I am the CQC master. You cannot beat me. Oh, there they are. Thought I saw them on the minimap. Okay, we got the Hago. And we got both tanks. Great. Uh, light by A. I don't think they needed that well. Alright, coming into B. Watching left. Super Iggy, you're stupid. And rip you. Oh, come on. Hit registration, please. Ping work in my favor. The thing about this is that the only shell that really works is heat, and heat, it blows up when you hit something with it, so I'm getting zero kills. You can see that this tank is obviously very situational. The only reason why I'm actually doing well in the game, and am third in the team, is because I've capped two points. That's literally the only reason why. I think that this tank is more of a tank that you'd use for, like, getting objective points, but not necessarily actually getting kills. This is more of like a slow and methodical tank. Well, actually, no, it's an M5. Yes, this is actually built, built off of the M5 chassis, for those of you who aren't history buffs and actually have lives. But, um, uh, this tank was, um, an M5, and then they decided to put a big turret on it, and they did. We're on fire, everyone. We got one kill. It's gonna be our only one. Alright. Rip. Rip. Play of the game. <laughs> Alright guys, that just about wraps it up for the M8. I hope you have enjoyed. And please leave a comment down below if you want me to do something uh, different. Uh, like, tell me what you want to do, what you want me to do. Uh, just give me your opinions, honest opinions. How do you think I could have improved? I am a growing channel, and I just need feedback. That's all I really need. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.